Dane says during his 28 years in business, he learned it was always important for parties in contention to sit down and talk. So he's happy to see President Obama and House GOP leaders gather at the White House for the first discussion since the government shutdown began last week. However, he tells me it's still too early to know whether that will actually result in a breakthrough over the budget stalemate and the resulting shutdown, and especially to avoid crossing the Tuesday deadline for defaulting on the nation's debt. Both sides do not want to see us get near that, uh, that debt ceiling and to potentially create uh, turmoil in financial markets. And so let's just hope that, uh, that calm, clear thinking uh, prevails today and we'll come out with some kind of a solution to move forward. House leaders have suggested moving the debt deadline to November 22nd. Senator Max Baucus and Senate Democrats favor December of next year. I asked Danes whether any extension should have some specific target dates for solving the spending issues. Well, I think the balance we're striking here is number one, we've got to address why do we have these debt ceiling problems in the first place and that's the out of control Washington spending. And so we've got to be having discussions around how do we avoid getting this place over and over again in this country where we're continuing to, to mortgage our kids and our grandkids' futures. And so this is, this is the dialogue we need to have right now uh, about the future of this country. And it's going to take some time to sort that out. Dane says he was especially pleased to see today's suggestion of allowing states to contribute to help reopen national parks like Glacier and Yellowstone. But he's also introduced a bill to make sure the states will be reimbursed by the government once the crisis is resolved. Dennis Bragg, MTN News.